Hi, it's John Kelly with Softball Smarts. Today I want to ask you a very important question. What percent of your daughter's softball potential is she tapping into today? Is it 80 percent, 60 percent, 50 percent, or even less? As a longtime coach and softball parent myself, nothing is more frustrating than to see a young athlete perform great in practice, and yet on game day that performance falls far short of its potential. And like you, I've spent a lot of money on hitting lessons, pitching lessons, the best equipment, travel dues, and all the costs associated with driving the kingdom coming back for softball. And as parents, when our athlete's performance falls below our expectations, don't we sometimes question that investment? So today I'd like to offer you an opportunity to ensure a better return on your softball investment. Now it's with private mental skills, high performance training with me. As a game coach, I understand the critical nature of physical training. Softball is a game you have to master through a lot of repetitions. There's no shortcut to that end. However, far too often, I see kids who are getting private hitting lessons or pitching lessons during the week, unable to translate that onto the field come game day. And I know it's frustrating, but what causes that? It's caused by what I call a mental disconnect between the physical part of the game and the mental part of the game. The physical part of the game we've already discussed is essential, but without the mental part of it, there's going to be a disconnect for your athlete. And here's why. In a practice setting, it's what I call a high comfort zone environment. Little risk, little pressure. They can perform at a higher level. However, on game day, the uniform is on, the chalk is down, the umpire is there, fans are in the stands. That high comfort zone drops dramatically to a low comfort zone, and that risk and pressure elevates dramatically, causing the ultimate breakdowns in performance. Issues like self-confidence, anxiety, high expectations, either internal expectations or those from parents or coaches or teammates. Issues with focus and concentration at pivotal times of the game, or just overcoming the inevitable adversity and failure that come with this game. I call these mental performance killers because they will inevitably sabotage your athlete's success on the field. In the end, it all comes down to increasing her game day performance, getting her closer to her potential, and that's what we do here at Winner's Edge Softball. I can provide your athlete with a customized game plan or blueprint program to systematically increase her performance level to get her closer to her full softball potential and today I'd like to offer you for watching this video a free 30-minute mental skills high performance lesson with me to talk about your athlete as well as let me share with you just how powerful the integration of mental skills high performance training is with the existing physical training your athlete currently has to really radically improve her game day performance. It's often said that doing the same thing over and over again but expecting different results is defined as insanity. So if the current regimen your athlete's on is not getting her to perform at a high enough level, not getting her to achieve the highest level of her potential, then maybe it's time for a different strategy. 30 minutes of me, and I think you're going to see how we can take your athlete's performance level and skyrocket it in a very short period of time. To get your free 30-minute mental skills high-performance training session with me, you can email me at softballsmarts101 at gmail.com, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.